DTI has a vital role to play in building digital capability across government. I mean, you know, my vision is for us to create an environment where we can bring staff from government through the DTI, um, get them to work on real issues and real problems using techniques like user-centered design, uh, rapid prototyping, building a solution, testing it, being prepared to fail and try again. Australian Government ICT entry-level programs help build the digital capability of government by ensuring we have the right skills and the right people to address the emerging ICT technologies and issues that government has to face in the future. The entry-level programs has a really strong focus in increasing diversity amongst our ICT employees. We have around 40% of our ICT workforce are female and the entry-level programs are one means that agencies can use to increase their female participation in their ICT workforce. People expect us to be doing really good things. They expect a very high service level from the Australian government. People don't go to government because they want to. Uh, it's because they have to or they need to and we really need to honour that and make sure that that's a, a seamless experience uh, by bringing in new skills, by mixing it up, by, by really challenging ourselves within our disciplines. How are we doing this? We're creating communities of practice to nurture and encourage collaboration and share ideas. Uh, we're, we're creating guidance uh, from the DTA to really support the work that's being done and to support the digital service standard as well. The key products that I'm working on at the moment are the UI kit and the design guide. What that product involves and, and delivers is really a design system and a pattern library and what that brings to government is guidance and documentation on usability, accessibility and general guidance about how you might implement those patterns. Well we build skills by working in partnership with agencies. We bring you know all the, let's say all the hard skills but more importantly we bring the experience doing it aiming always for building you know, a new culture, how we can work better together, how we can collaborate, and how we can deliver better services for our users. So personally, I've been working on a day-to-day -day level with a number of individuals at a department, helping to essentially train them up as user researchers. We've been uh, having them shadow me, conducting sessions and, and performing analysis, and we've transitioned slowly to a place where they're able to lead sessions, to, to design conversations, to do rigorous analysis and also to be able to communicate the value of what they're learning widely within their organisations. 